Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be discussing the sacraments of the Catholic Church, and today, we're talking about the Eucharist. Specifically, what kinds of things can make the consecration of the Eucharist invalid? In the case of the Eucharist, there are really only a few, and all of them are pretty clean-cut rules to understand, so this may not take long to explain. First, the celebrant. The person doing the consecration needs to be a validly ordained priest. No exceptions. If you don't have a priest doing the consecrations, it's invalid. Second, intent. In order for the consecration to take place, the priest needs to intend to do what the church does. This doesn't mean that the priest needs to understand transubstantiation, or even believe in the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. If he intends to do what the church does, even in the most basic, vague sense, then the sacrament is valid. On this score, it's only invalid if he specifically intends not to consecrate the Eucharist, and is just going through the motions. Third, matter. The correct matter must be used during the consecration. This means that the bread used for the host must be bread before the consecration and a bread made from wheat. In Roman Catholicism, it also needs to be unleavened, too. Also, the wine used must be wine made from pure grapes with a little bit of water added to it, and both need to be unspoiled. If these things aren't present or aren't used, then the consecration was invalid. Finally, the form of the consecration must involve, in some language, the phrases, this is my body, and this is my blood. Without these phrases spoken by the priest, no consecration validly takes place. Those are all the things that can make the consecration of the Eucharist invalid. Next time, when should we receive the Eucharist, and when are we worthy or unworthy to receive it? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.